Hello friends. Welcome to my new spring interview questions and answers series video. In this series, we will discuss spring top interview questions and answers. Let's move ahead. Today, we will discuss about most frequently asked spring interview question as What bean scopes does spring support? Explain them. Friends. When we configure a bean in spring XML configuration file, we can tell spring about the scope for the bean. In the spring configuration file or through annotations, we can provide information to spring container about the bean scopes. Spring supports various bean scopes for application context and web aware spring application context. There are five bean scopes available for spring beans. The spring framework supports following five scopes, three of which are available only if you use a web aware application context and two when you use simple application context. The names of five spring supported bean scope are as follows. Number one, singleton. Number two, prototype. Number three, request. Number four, session. Number five, global, session. The diagram depicts five different spring supported bean scopes. Let's go through each of these bean scopes one by one. Number one, singleton bean scope. Singleton scope is the default scope. This bean scope is very similar to singleton design pattern. In this scope the bean definition is configured to have a single instance per spring IOC container. In this scope of bean, spring instantiate bean only once. Whenever the instance of bean will be requested, spring container will return the same instance. Moving ahead. Number 2, Prototype Bean Scope. Whenever a bean is declared as prototype, it scopes a single bean definition to any number of object instances. It is just opposite to singleton bean scope. Each time a bean is requested a new instance gets created. Moving ahead. Number 3, Request Bean Scope. This type of bean scope is valid only in the context of a web aware spring application context. Spring bean which is defined in the scope of request, gets instantiated for every HTTP request made. This spring bean lives till the HTTP request lives. Each and every consecutive HTTP request has newly instantiated bean associated with it. Moving ahead. Number 4, Session Bean Scope. This type of bean scope is valid only in the context of a web aware spring application context. Spring bean which is defined in the scope of session, gets instantiated for handling life cycle of an HTTP session. The spring bean conf configured as a session scope survives till the HTTP session survives. This spring bean lives till the HTTP session lives. Each and every consecutive HTTP session has newly instantiated bean associated with it. Moving ahead. Number 5, Global Session Bean Scope. This type of bean scope is valid only in the context of a web aware spring application context. Spring bean which is defined in the scope of global session, gets instantiated for handling life cycle of a global HTTP session. Here, it scopes a single bean definition to the life cycle of a global HTTP session. It is only valid when used in a portlet context. This global session scope bean usually comes into picture when developing portlet based web applications. Annotation used to make a bean configured in particular scope is as follows. First create a Java class. Second make it a spring bean by having an annotation as, at the rate component. Thirdly place an annotation as, at the rate scope, and providing it a scope say either prototype, session etc. That's it. Spring will automatically takes care for the scope of the particular bean. So friends, the five spring bean scopes are like Singleton, Prototype, Request, Session, and Global Session. This concept of different scope of spring beans has been asked frequently in spring interviews. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, different spring bean scopes concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at
www.hubberspot.com